Okay, friends. So our next speakers are Fatima Hendricks and Salima Jaffer. Uh, Fatima is from South Africa and the United States. She is an assistant professor of occupational therapy at Chicago State University and is a decolonial scholar practitioner. While Salima, who lives in Cape Town, South Africa, recently completed her MA in Peace and Conflict Studies at Coventry University, United Kingdom, and currently works in community-based research at the Medina Institute. So I, with a very warm heart, welcome Salima and Fatima. Hello, everyone. Greetings, dear friends. It's so lovely to be in this honorable company. It's so it's such a blessed space. And thank you so much for um, granting us this opportunity to be amongst you all. Um, I'm hoping that the uh, slide presentation can come up so that we can um, um, uh, hopefully get started on our presentation. My name is Fatima and uh, it actually is, I'm named after the daughter of Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, and it means um, uh, nurturer. And Salima um, is an Arabic, uh, she's uh, named, um, it's an Arabic word from the root word peace. And uh, so uh, this presentation is by both me and Salima from Medina Institute Center for Nonviolence and Peace Studies. Um, sorry, um, sorry, Fatima, uh, we don't have your presentation, so I'm assuming that one of you has it and you can share the screen whenever you want to. Okay, thank you so much. Excuse me, sorry, the um, host disabled participant screen sharing. So if um, one of us could please be able to... I've enabled it. You may please go ahead. Thank you. Okay, thank you while we get to put that up. Um, so what we're doing today is we really want to connect the interfaith work that we're doing, we're all doing, um, in ways that uh, really talk to the commonality of our experiences. And so what we thought we'd do in terms of learning objectives for our little time together is to create some awareness about the do no harm principle within Islam and how that connects with Ahimsa. We're going to be looking at three sources, the Quran, the Hadith, and aphorism from the Book of Love. And then we'll try to practice memorizing um, some of those sources so that we can have that at the back of our minds to build interconnections. And with the hope that we can embrace and celebrate our shared values. Um, we will have a warm up. Um, we'll do a little bit of interactive learning. So I do hope the chat is enabled. And then we'll have a little bit of a quiz towards the end to consolidate what we've learned today. Um, our learning activity is going to cover off three parts. We want to talk a little bit about justice and how central that is as a point of departure and connection with Ahimsa and do no harm nor reciprocating harm. And then how all of this at a higher level collects with deep love for God, for the Creator, for all those that, whom we share this world with and how we are all working towards illumination. Um, um, the um, next slide, slide, please. Thank you. Over to you, Sanima. So we're just going to be doing a little bit of a warm up. It's an award, a waterfall activity. Um, and I would just like to confirm, please, if the chat box is enabled. Yes, it is. Okay, perfect. Okay, so this is an opportunity for us to share our thoughts and, ide and ideas with each other. Um, and we're going to ask you to please respond to the prompt below um, by opening the Zoom chat box and typing your response. But please do not press enter or press send as yet. Um, so you can all have maybe a minute or so to just respond to the prompt below. What does nonviolence mean to you? Um, and then in a minute, we will um, do a countdown um, of three, and then we'll share our responses with each other.
Okay, so we'll share it on three. One, two, three, go. Thank you so much to everybody that participated. Um, and if anybody else still wants to contribute, please feel free to go ahead. Um, the idea behind this, this activity is that we can um, connect on the ideas that we have that are in common and also share um, in the ideas that we have that are different. And I think that's something that's really important for us to recognize that we don't all see um, these concepts of peace and violence and nonviolence in the same way, but we have many shared values and commonalities. Um, we're just going to, for our learning journey, we're going to look at classical primary sources um, for Muslims. Um, and like Sister Fatima, Dr. Fatima Hindix mentioned, we're going to look at the Quran, which is the holy book of Islam, which was revealed to Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and it's the words of God Almighty. And then we're also going to look at Hadith, which is a record of what Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, did, said, and approved of. And the Quran and the Hadith, they are um, seen as classical primary sources um, for Muslims in terms of the Islamic faith. And then we're also going to look at an aphorism from the Book of Love. And this is a book by Sheikh Muhammad bin Yahya Al-Nanawi, the founder of Medina Institute Center for Nonviolence and Peace Studies. And the reason that we are looking at the Book of Love is that it gives us a um, very simplified take home message um, in our modern context. And we found that this is really helpful um, in teaching Islamic principles because oftentimes um, young people, especially, want something that's really relatable and easy to understand in modern language. Thank you, Salima. Jazakallah um, And thank you to everyone that posted in the chat box. We see this love, uh, sense of love and connection coming through um, and really empathizing with each other and doing no harm. Um, at another top layer, we look at this connection to social justice and um, nonviolence as a response um, and as a way of being and working towards social justice. And so I'm going to pull up the Quran. Um, those of you that might not have seen it in Arabic, this is what it looks like. So I'm going to be looking at Surah An-Nisa, which is in Ayah 35, 135. And I'm going to recite something from it. The meaning is really, O oh, believers, stand firm for justice as witnesses for Allah, even it, it, if it is against yourselves, your parents or close relatives, be they rich or poor, Allah is the best to ensure their interests. So do not let your desires cause you to deviate from justice. If you distort the testimony or refuse to give it, then know that Allah is certainly all aware of what you do. A'udhu billahi minash shaytani wajim. Bismillahi rahmani rahim. Ya ayyuha alladheena amanu kunu kawamina bil qisti. Shuhada'a lillahi walau ala anfusikum. Awil walidayni wal aqrabiyin. إِيَّاكُنْ غَنِيًّا أَوْ فَقِيرًا فَاللَّهُ أَوْلَى بِهِمَا فَلَا تَتَّبِعُوا الْهَوَى أَنْ تَعْذِرُوا وَإِنْ تَلْوُوا أَوْ تُعْرِدُوا فَإِنَّ اللَّهَ كَانَ بِمَا تَعْمَلُونَ حَبِيرٌ صدق الله العظيم. So this is our, uh, real co our connection um, to the concept of social justice and the pursuit of justice through peace. Um, and um, we wanted to really foreground and use this as a, as, a, as a way of sharing the connection between our faith and the many faiths out there. And this reference is from Surah An-Nisa, Ayah 135. Okay. Hey, Dr. Fatima. Okay. Um, I'm going to be sharing the hadith, and as we mentioned, the hadith is something that the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, um, did, or approved of. And this hadith is found in a very popular compilation of hadith called the Imam Nawawi's 40 Hadith Compilation, and it's the hadith uh, number 32. 
And the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is reported to have said, there should be neither harming nor reciprocating harm. And when we reflect on this um, prophetic tradition, we can see that um, it is really about not only not yourself, not um, inflicting violence on another person or in a, another group of people or even to the environment, um, but also not reciprocating if any harm or any violence is done against you unless it is an, obviously an issue of social justice. Another thing that comes from this prophetic tradition um, is that it is about taking action, that um, it's not only just about waiting sort of for something to happen and then you see how you're going to react, but to be that agent of change, to be that messenger or that ambassador of nonviolence within the communities and within society. And this is something that we use often when we are working with young people um, in our Islamic Institute within South Africa, we reflect on the importance of social justice and being an agent for change and being somebody that is active in the community, showing um, the, the community how to positively contribute and how to be a thriving community. And this is something I think that for myself, I'm quite passionate about um, in our community within Cape Town, because oftentimes religious um, education is very much focused on theory and on memorization. But what we are trying to sort of imbibe and show within our programs at Medina Institute is that it's very much a religion and a faith that is alive and very much a religion and faith that um, provides the scaffolding for thriving, positive um, communities. We are also going to share the aphorism from the Book of Love um, by Sheikh Dr. Muhammad bin Yahya al husseini in Nenui. Um, and he says, hate does not extinguish hate. Darkness does not extinguish darkness. Prejudice does not extinguish prejudice. Negativity does not extinguish negativity. It's only love that extinguishes hate. It's only light that extinguishes darkness. It's only knowledge that extinguishes arrogance, um, ignorance. Sorry. And this can be found in the chapter Signs on the Path of Love. It's Aphorism um, 72. And again, there, it's very much about taking action, about being the agent for change, about being the ambassador of love and light and spreading that within our families, our neighborhoods, our communities, our countries, and the world at large. And so, dear friends, we've reached the end and we thought we'd invite you to join myquiz.com. It's just three questions. So if you type in joinmyquiz.com, um, I'm going to share. If Salima, if you could stop sharing, then I can share my screen. Um, and then we can go to the quiz quickly. Um, we have a little quiz um, that is um, up. If you go to joinmyquiz.com, and then um, if you, um, I'm going to give you the, the quiz code now. If you type in this code, um, it is, and we'll see it on the screen shortly. Uh, join my quiz 217315 is the promo code. So 217315. And uh, you can enter your name or you could enter um, any um, pseudonym if you wanted to as well. So joinmyquiz.com. Welcome, Felipe. We see Felipe's in there. Thank you, Sahib Priya. Thank you, everyone. The code is 217315. Joinmyquiz.com, 217315. And um, you can um, also um, join while the quiz is live, so we'll get started so that we're on time. Okay, here we go. Ready, set, go. Okay, joinmyquiz.com 217315. Okay. Okay, first question. Okay. Okay. The hadith we learned about today that records the prophetic example from 1,400 years ago relating to Ahimsa says that should be no, ha no harm or reciprocating of harm, stand up firmly for justice or love everyone.
right, everyone. Thank you so much. And let's take a look at what we have. Wow, we've got a leaderboard. Thank you so much to everyone for participating in that. Um, okay, and there should the answer is there should be neither harming or reciprocating of harm. The next question. Okay. Um, the Quran has clear verses about standing up firmly for justice. One such verse is in Surah An Nisa. Al-Fatiha or Al-Ikhlas. So I recited from a surah from the Quran. Was it An-Nisa, which is the, the chapter on women? Was it Al-Fatiha, which is the opening chapter? Or was it Al-Ikhlas, which is a chapter describing God? Okay, let's have a look see. And we've got a leaderboard. Wow. Okay. Good stuff. <laughs> Thank you so much. And the question, the answer is that there's the chat. There's uh, the verse that I recited was from Surah and Nisa. And the last question, everyone. The aphorism we learned from the Book of Love is about love and light, heaven and hell, or life and death. The aphorism from the Book of Love by Sheikh Muhammad bin Yahya Ninui is about love and light, heaven and hell, or life and death. Just a few more seconds, three, two, one, and let's take a look at what the answer is. Okay, it is, there's our leaderboard. Okay, great stuff. Thank you, Sahil, Felipe, Kulso. Okay, seven of us got that right. It's about love and light. So that's the end of our quiz. Um, we Let's just have a look and see where we are. Just celebrate. <laughs> um, thank you, Sahil, Felipe, and Kulso. Um, thank you, everyone. Um, and uh, we really do um, value this incredible effort, um, this beautiful space of being present um, in amid such great company. And may all of the work that we're doing collectively move the world forward as we move together towards love and light and peace. Um, our greetings of love and peace as we close out Ramadan. Thank you so much. Take care. Back to you, Prof. Rebo. Thank you so much, Fatima and Salima. That was amazing and wonderful. And um, we will, for those of you who are here uh, later in uh, the program, we will be hearing from Sheikh Nanoi uh, himself. So uh, we're very, very fortunate that he's going to be able to join us. Equally fortunate that Fatima and Salima, who have been devoting their lives to this work, have been here.